You tell me that the sound is shitty again, I swear. I'm not gonna be angry. I'm just gonna be annoyed. <laughs> Cause I worked really hard this time so that the sound is not crappy, my hair is not in the way, and so on and so forth. So, just, just saying. All right, little burial. Hey everyone, welcome to the next installment. As you can see, you're behind my desk. You're not next to anymore and you're not on the other side. You're literally behind my desk. Uh, balloons, if you aren't following me on Instagram, you wouldn't know this, but it was my birthday a few days ago and then I went ahead and got a flu shot. This arm is still a little bit tender, but I'll be all right. So the flu vaccination knocked me out since Friday night till right now it is 11 p.m. on a Sunday. So tomorrow I do expect to be starting with the Get Paid Now boot camp. So got that on the brain. Um, with that being said, I promised you in our last video that I would, if you would put down in the comments freelance hack or wink at me, either way, I would teach you how you can get your very first job on Upwork even if you don't have a portfolio or any past work related to the specific work. So I'm still going to keep my word and teach you how to do that. Before I do, I'm kidding. <laughs> so let's jump right into my screen and take a look at what we can do without actually having a portfolio. All right, so I'm gonna jump into my screen. I might ignore you for a little bit. So I'm looking for a project. Let's just say, because it's for me a low hanging fruit skill, let's type in to the search bar. We're gonna look for content writer um, projects. So that's what we're gonna do. And in the meantime, I'd like to know what convinced you, if you're a subscriber to my channel, what made you want to subscribe? So, but before we start all of that, thank you all so much for your comments and for your winks. But this week's featured comment is actually from Lebohang Kekana, who says they just stumbled on a video, a specific video, and that they can't wait for me to reach 100,000 subscribers. Well, I'm just hoping to reach 500 at the moment. So thank you very much, Lebohang, and I am so glad you subscribed. All right, let's now, let's get to work. And camera open. All right, so when I look at my screen, you're gonna see me on my screen, in my screen. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for a job, right? We're gonna look for a job. All right, hey, howdy. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for a job for content writer. It is indeed after 11, so we aren't operating at full steam and um, you already know why I spent the weekend not working. All right, so we're gonna look for content writer jobs for something that I do not have in my portfolio because I wanna show you how you can actually still get the project if you have never done anything like that before. All right, so here, hello Upworkers. We need a new social media wizard to write content and create designs for our business as a B2B business, targeting Saudi Arabia. So it's a must to know Arabic. Okay, this you can't get over. It's a language barrier. You can't get over something like this. However, let's keep going. Looking for an original content writer, article writer for my website. Okay, that's something I can do. Um, it is something I can do and I'm skilled in it. So I guess the answer would be no. Let's move on to something I've never done before, like in my life. And I'm gonna show you how to get the project anyway, right? Script assistance for virtual reality experience, Scotland on site. We're shooting a VR experience in Elgin or Elgin. If you're from Scotland, please correct my pronunciation. And needs some on-site assistance with the script at the distillery as changes may be made while shooting. Okay, so this person needs someone to be on site. That's not gonna work. Uh, we run two stores for every shop. We need five posts per week. So this is content writing and Instagram and content creation. So it's social media content creation. Um, 
This is a very low hanging fruit, but the problem is this rate, zero to 33. Okay, you know what? At minimum, you wanna be making around $25 per hour. And my Get Paid Now cohorts understand exactly why. Um, if you wanna know why, let me know in the comments down below why $25 an hour should be your base. All right, okay, let me know down below why $25 per hour, or ask me why $25 should be the base rate that you accept from Upwork. All right, white paper, who can write? Okay, we'll, so we'll do this one. We'll pop it in another window, although you can also use it for yourself. You can hard it and save it as a, as a saved job. Um, the only thing that you have to be wary about is here. They have 2.55 stars based on six pieces of feedback. So they might not, they might be the client from hell. <laughs> this is just a warning. White paper, who can write and design content? I'm looking for someone who can write and design white papers for me on different topics. Okay, they're not telling us more about the project. Okay, so here's the thing. If you've never done a specific type of project before, like you've never, ever, ever in your life done something, you need as much detail in the project description as possible. That's how you're gonna finesse it. So if they don't give you detail, you can't finesse the project, you can't make it like you've never you've never done the work before so you can't make something up on the spot All right so you need as much detail in the job description as possible so we're gonna keep looking and looking and looking I'm going to cut this in the editing room so don't you worry um, we're looking for a creative writer for, to craft an audible fiction story for 10 to 15 minutes with a maximum of four cast members. The story must promote a brand, which I will give to you. I'll give you the theme of the story. Strong English and grammar is required. Okay, perfect. So this is story writing, right? For a creative writer. Technically, we are a content writer, but that shouldn't, like I said, even if you don't have a portfolio for something, you can still apply. Company profile creation, okay? Copywriter to write the article about the importance of diversity and inclusion in the workplace. So this is perfect. I've never done this work before in my life, right? Okay, now we can close this one. And we can close this one because it doesn't have enough detail. And we can close, hi, we're looking for. This is a possibility. So what you would do is, if I were you and if I were gonna take on this project, I would open up another tab and go docs.google.com. And then I would write a short story. I'd open up a blank page and I would write a very short story <laughs> uh, with exactly uh, four cast members. And then I would time myself and make sure that it's maybe 20 minutes long and promote a brand. Now you can, instead of promoting a brand, you can just write something like this. Every time um, you get to the brand, insert brand name. That way it's not like you're lying about the work, right? So you're gonna call this um, fictional story script or whatever you wanna call it. And then you're gonna go right ahead and Introduce your character one, call him Brandon, one of my favorite characters on As Told by Ginger. Character two, <laughs> Carl, another good one. I think I'll make it Carl like Lagerfeld. Carl, and fourth, third character, Andre, like Andre Leon Talley. <laughs> okay. Character and the final character we will do, and um, we will call this character Anna, like Anna Wintour. And then what you will do is you will just start writing the story based on these characters. Write the story, and then however long you or short you want it to be. And then when you're done, you press this button here. You say share, and you send your you copy the link. It's restricted right now, but you know. You get the story. Then you jump in to submit a proposal. And then, when it's time to submit a proposal, you want to use the six elements that I have taught you, right? So we're going to use our general profile because, like I said, I've never done this type of work before. So we're going to choose by milestone and then we're going to say price to be determined. Do not let the client already have some kind of an amount from you. Look at their budget, take it all. 
<laughs> Sounds weird, but yes, look at how much their budget is. Take it all because you're still going to negotiate. Set a duration. Okay, on average, it will not, it will not take me that long. So I'm going to say less than a month. Then look and see if they have any other additional questions. Okay, so if you're in my Get Paid Now program, the private beta testy group that we are doing right now. You would know that I'm going to teach you how to answer additional questions when there are additional questions. In this instance, in this instance, <laughs> there are no um, additional questions. So what you're gonna, I want you to do is go back to open in another tab, the job posting, because obviously you're sending a proposal. And then look for client reviews. Shamira, Shamira, Shamira. Okay, copy this. Copy that, <laughs> command C, and we go back. Now, what you wanna do, since you've written your script, right? You've done, you've written your fictional story script, you're gonna say, hi, Shamira, because now we know their name, right? Command V, <laughs> five out of five, whatever, crazy. So you're going to say, hi, Shamira, and then you're going to proceed to enter in those five elements that I talked about. Tell them an interesting fact about uh, writing creative stories or being a creative writer, creating fictional stories, or, you know, a lot of writers find that unless they read scripts before writing them, they simply do not feel inspired. I don't know if that's the case for me. I like the idea of inventing totally new characters and putting them in an environment of my choosing and then allowing them to navigate till they reach a resolution. In this instance, it would be centered around, around your brand. And then what you want to do is go right ahead and say, I've worked on something similar before, so please feel free to check it out and let me know what you think. And then you want to add in that Google Docs link that you've just created. Oh, okay. We're going to go back. You want to go back to the script that you've just written. I am writing a script for you. <laughs> you forget about that. Sorry, guys. Uh, you copy this link and then you go back to your proposal, drop it in instead of attaching. It just makes life so much easier. And also remember, um, you will receive a notification when your document is open, so you'll know whether or not Shimeria or whoever it is um, has actually even bothered to take a look at your proposal. So it's kind of like you have red receipts. Very cool. So then you, I would love to ask you some additional questions about your brand as well as the characters themselves. For instance, what is your ideal outcome for this story? Looking forward to hearing from you again. Thanks or thank you, or cheers, and then I'll say, Bailey.
And that's it. And that is how you write a killer proposal for something that you've never project. So you know the client understands that you won't necessarily have the experience that they need, but if you have some experience, they have something to kind of rate your work against. And then they can choose. So don't write, write something, something really, really trash. trash. <laughs> but also don't put too much time into it. Remember, you're running up against the clock because there's gonna be other people who want to also bid on the same project, who may have the experience that you don't have. Now, there's a reason why I say price to be determined. We're gonna talk, the client and I, I'm gonna ask additional questions. And then the client will then receive, will, will then learn about my workflow. So for now, I'm gonna jump you out of my screen. Nice to see you guys again. And then I'm gonna talk to you again about what do I need. All right, so when I was talking about my workflow, so I have a process. Please, if you do not or have not as yet, download my workflow that got me to 10K months. But it goes a little something like this. Number one, cold outreach. Number two, prime. Number three, audit. Number four, feedback. Number five, proposal. And number six, active contract. It's really that simple. So. The first three steps are critical because they're the ones that help to establish a relationship between me and the client. The fourth, the fifth, and the final step, that's just a verification of what it is that the client wanted. The fifth one is a proposal. Now, I'm not going to do a proposal blind. Never, ever, ever do blind proposals because you just don't know what the client wants. You don't know their budget. You don't know their time scales. You don't know anything about it. You just know that you want the project. So typically, that's why you want to send more than one proposal, but I wouldn't send more than five proposals a day. Number one, it's going to cost you connects. Number two, it's highly impractical. And if you use my proposal writing techniques, like what you've just seen inside my computer, you'll see exactly why it is that I typically have a one out of three client response rate. 30% for cold outreach, you have to remember, is actually excellent. So one out of three of the proposals I write, because I don't write that many in a day. I typically receive my clients while I'm sleeping. Um, so right uh, and if you have not watched the video on how to make that happen I'm gonna put it in the cards up here so click on that link and see how you can use the power of storytelling and the Upwork algorithm to get you your ideal client while you're sleeping okay so all you have to do is just optimize your profile and then go to sleep and in the morning you will see all those client invitations so okay so what was I talking about when I was talking about my workflow basically it's a system that I've designed to go for, to help my clients go from either cold or warm if they're from Upwork or cold if it's pure outreach like Facebook, move them from cold to warm to hot to active contract, right? So just download that 10K guide um, that I've provided and you'll see exactly what I mean. And to my Get Paid Now cohorts, I cannot wait to show you even more how you can become a beast at sending proposals. We'll have examples, we'll have templates, we'll have all kinds of cool stuff, so I can't wait. Um, but not to make this video too long, thank you guys again for commenting and asking me freelance hack. And if you'd like to see how my workflow goes, like if you wanna create your own version of my workflow, I am planning on coming out with a template of a workflow and a pricing catalog, so the two work together. But definitely check out the 10k workflow um, I don't really use this one too much because it does cause burnout warning so you will make it to your 10k month $10,000 but you will be exhausted when you come out so just be warned but it is a nice little metric to have all right uh, without further ado guys um, I've already spent 13 minutes with you inside my computer I don't want to take up any more of your time thank you so so much for tuning in and if you have not yet decided to follow me on Instagram why not uh, it's a very tiny little community but uh, you get to see behind the scenes you get to see me plan shoots like this you get to see me answer questions that come from my DMs you get to actually interact with me in my DMs and I answer certain freelancing questions that I just don't have time to answer here on YouTube or have not been asked on YouTube. Remember, Instagram is a much more personal relationship that you will have with me. So if you don't follow me at the moment, please do and send me a DM, say hi, but uh, you'll definitely see a lot of behind the scenes there. Okay, so with that being said, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm so loved. A fantastic evening, if you're watching this in the evening and a fantastic week and I'll see you in my next
video. Bye everyone.